to my Avonians, Esperando and Perseverando, and for my English sections and travel and culture, our word is honor. It struck me as fitting being that today, in about two hours, I was supposed to give the Vespers talk at Avon Old Farms. For those of you who don't know, Avon Old Farms is an all-boys boarding school where I went for four years. I'm a four-year boy. And it really shapes you. It changes your habits. And one of the points of emphasis at Avon is honor. We're called men of honor, even as boys. And I figured it's a fitting place to start. And also honor would be a great word for English. For us to take a deep dive in. Let me get this shadow off me. Hey, yeah. Oh, I don't want to lose all the flowers, though. Uh, something's got to give. Shadow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I chose the word honor because it is a noun and it is a verb. Okay. Honor is a thing like respect, but it also is an action. You honor someone or something. When I first went to Avon, I was lucky. I didn't necessarily have the grades. And to be honest, I was not a great person. I didn't have much honor at that point in my life. In eighth grade, I skipped 40 plus days of school. I was being groomed for a gang. It, I was on a bad track in life. Fortunately for me, I don't know if it was Miss Cutler or someone, they did a deep dive on my grades. And instead of just looking at my eighth grade year, they looked at my previous performance. And they said, well, this kid is bright. Let's give him a shot. And they, they took a chance on me. I almost flunked out the first year. Uh, by the end of that second semester, I believe I was on the honor roll. And then the next year, honor roll, dean's list. And then... By senior year, I was on a headmaster's list and I graduated um, Order of Old Farms, top 10 in the class. But all that being said, I was a creative from the gate. And my best friend, Timothy, God bless the dead, he was an artist and I actually spoke about him. Students don't normally give Vespers talks at, at the school, not at the time. And I spoke, I, I asked and I spoke about what connected us, that we were all connected. And I told the story of growing up in Hartford. You see a lot of a lot of students go to Avon Old Farms and it's a $65,000 a year education. So it's not a lot of students from Hartford, which is, you know, 10 minutes away, but I was one of the students from Hartford. And so I spoke about my experience and how, although it seemed like such a stark contrast, there were certain things that tied us all together and that we were all connected. I think about that now and where we are in this current great meditation and all the lessons I've had to learn up to this point to become an educator. This is my first full year as a teacher. A lot of people don't know that because I've been an educator for so long, but this is my first full year in the classroom, like full time. Um, not including workshop or teaching creative writing and whatnot. Full-time teacher, first full year. I learned a lot. One of the greatest lessons is what you bring with you when you walk into a room outside of achievements or what comes out of your mouth or what someone, what you bring with you energetically, your virtues, that speaks louder than your words. And I, that, it felt like some, I always believed that, but it, I don't know if everyone was ready to hear that message or if it would land. But now I feel that it lands and people are ready, so it's necessary. Honor is one of those things. When you walk into a room and you value honor, that energy, people can feel it. And so what I ask of you is to remember that honor is not just a noun, it's a verb. And the more you practice it, 
the more it resonates. And when you walk into any space, like attracts like, it becomes one of those things. So I think deep down, I don't know if it was Pope Riddle or whoever uh, structured Avon Olfars, but I think deep down calling us men of honor, uh, even though uh, we some of us were far from honorable, it gave us something to strive for and therefore it planted the seed and we became honorable. And so I say that to say, oh, bird. <laughs> I say that to say we are all on the wings of those virtues, honor. It's the one that I feel like we can rally around in times such as this, where it is difficult to remember who we are. Sometimes we get lost. I forget the day. I don't know what time it is. Uh, but I do know that it's important to be honorable regardless. Okay. And so just Avonians, just bear with me. I, I do this for my English classes as well. And uh, uh, the definition of honor is. Honor. Sorry, I like to. One more time for my folks in the back, please. Honor. Okay. That's how you say it. It's the enunciation. <laughs> but the definition of honor is the noun form is high respect or great esteem. And the example is his portrait hangs in the place of honor. Also, the noun form is adherence to what is right or to a conventional standard of conduct. Adherence to what is right or to a conventional standard of conduct. Yeah, honor. And the verb form of honor is regard with great respect. They honor their parents in all they did. Or the second verb form is to fulfill an obligation or keep an agreement to make sure the franchisees honor the terms of the contract. Ah, oh, I love that word, honor. It's not only a noun, it's also a verb. It's a way of being. And remember, when you live with honor, you draw like attracts like, okay? I know magnets, opposites, attract all that, but for what we're talking about, like attracts like. When you live with honor, when you seek out honor, you find honor. And I, it is such a privilege for me to be here communicating. I, you know, I know this was supposed to be a Vespers talk. But I felt like rather than just say, oh, there is no Vespers, I could create something that would be fruitful for not just the Avonians that need to hear it, but my, my English students. And, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I know that I have value and I'm still struggling because I've been impatient for so long that I don't want to, you know, be too hasty about anything. But I want to I want to give. And I, I've been given in an educator capacity. So these videos are, are kind of new lane for me, but uh, it makes me feel good to know that some people are just going to watch this and, you know, it is what it is. There's so much content for them, but someone needs to hear this. And the, the honor that you have inside of you that is maybe you're cooped up and you can't get out and when you do get out you're, you're stuck in survival mode you got your mask and your gloves and you're not really thinking about honor maybe this will plant that one seed for that one person to you know to hold that door for you know that elderly person or to do something that i'm not saying put yourself at risk i don't think that's necessary i don't think that's wise what i'm saying is to do the honorable thing. I'll give you one example. Uh, one of my young guys, he was at the grocery store and he was buying, so he's still in New York and he lives, he's fortunate, he lives in Manhattan, but he's also highly aware and empathic. So he, maybe he's unfortunate, but he was at the grocery store. He was buying some eggs, eggs were four bucks. He said, yo, why are, he asked the cashier, why, when it was eggs for, you know, he's used to $2 eggs. Uh, and she's like, I know, right? And so he's, she's ringing him up and she said, wait, this is, this is your food? 
He's like, yeah. And so she was like, oh, she gave him a, a 10% or a, I forget the a, a percent discount. And he was like, oh, man, he, you know, it made his day in the conversation. But then he, he looked around and he saw, it was, you know, it was mostly black folks in there. And they were all buying food, but it, it didn't look like they were buying food for themselves. And so it kind of, it was a it was a crushing kind of class realization for him. You got, you know, the black folks working and buying food. And so who's risking what for what? That that's That's what he came up against. But also he realized that he stayed when he could have left. He stayed in the city because it was the honorable thing to do. And so we, we spent a, a few moments just venting on that and, and really breaking down the class structures and society and, and what's what's illu getting illuminated now. I say this is a period where the invisible is becoming visible. And I don't think anyone should feel bad about their place or their privilege. He's privileged. I'm privileged. I mean, I'm sitting here with flowers and like, but I think it's Impar it is so important for us to acknowledge that. So when we call essential workers essential work, let's understand what we're actually doing. Let's just take it another, let's do the honorable thing. Let's put ourselves in each other's shoes. We are all in this together. If you're missing the point on that story, I apologize. <laughs> it, it will settle on you at some point, hopefully. Um, if not, sit with it and then hit me up and we can talk, okay? For quite some time now, we've been allowed to go through the motions of life and not do honorable things because we felt like that's what everybody else is doing. That time is done. Uh, we need to continuously focus on honor and doing the right thing. Maybe it requires a little bit of sacrifice, you know, maybe it's not enough to say, oh, thank you, essential workers. Maybe it's not enough to buy lunch, which is going to be delivered by an essential worker who's putting their life on the line so you can do a pseudo act of goodwill. I'm not trying to I listen. All I'm saying is let's get clarity on honor. Let's take a deep dive and continue to dive deep on it so that we can know, like without guessing, we can be sure that we are elevating honorable virtues. And when we walk in new spaces, when we get the chance to walk in new spaces, honor will be first and foremost, and we can make sure that it never falls to the wayside again. That being said, I appreciate you for your time and your energy. Uh, English 12, you'll have prompts in the video following this. And much love, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smiling.